Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my second video for Flippity Flap, uh, which is going to be a Flappy Bird type game, copyright. Um, what we're going to do in this video is we are going to add the tubes and we're going to add a bullet movement to those tubes. That way they start moving towards you in the game. Uh, your player is going to stay right where he is and he's only going to move up and down. He doesn't move any left to right at all. Um, later on we will do, maybe not in this video, but we'll start doing the game over scenarios where if he touches the ceiling or if he touches the ground or if he touches one of the tubes then it's essentially a game over okay and then we'll have a restart button uh, to restart the game and then you know we'll have a you win screen you know if, or maybe not a you win because there's really no winning this game but we'll have our counter in the top right corner to see how many you get through and that would basically be the uh, main parts of the game okay um, so now when we don't have a collision set up the physics of the game will cause a collision between the two pieces so if the bird collides with a tube he may knock the tube over whereas in the coding if we have it set where oh if the bird knocks into one of the tubes that would be a collision um, and the game would end at that point and he actually would not knock over the blocks okay so if you see blocks knocking over or moving uh, erratically that would be why okay all right, so here we go. Um, you're gonna go up to add, and you're gonna go to you're gonna go to basic shapes, and you're gonna bring in a bordered rectangle. And that bordered rectangle, what we're gonna do with that? Oh, there's a tap button back there, so we gotta be careful on that. All right, bordered rectangle. You're gonna go up to appearance. You're gonna change the name. This is gonna be called tube, or you could call it tube one or whatever. I, you just call it tube. It'll it'll change its name as we copy it. Okay. Um, so for tube one, here are the things we're going to want to do. And I'm looking at my notes here. We are going to want to leave it as a solid. Um, we want it to be, let's see, hidden, no, layer, scene, tint, color, image orientation. I think we're good. Okay, so we're going to go into here and we're just going to turn solid off. Sorry, solid on, I just said that. Um, you're gonna do a tint, and we're gonna make that some kind of green, maybe a darker green, something like that, okay? And then you're gonna make a second one of those. Don't forget that I'm just clicking and holding, and then I'm dragging this into my scene. Um, let's see, as far as sizes go, I've got one that is one by one, which this probably already is. Come on, get back on that tube. One by one. This one here is going to be a 0 0.47 by 0 0.47. That's just something that I figured kind of works. Go to rotation and rotate that 90 degrees. And then we're going to tint that the same color. So now if I go back on my green one here, it was a random green that I selected. But if I go to appearance, you can see they give you the code for that number or for that color. So I'm going to copy and paste that or try to remember it I guess 149 D 9 and then you're gonna go on the other one if I can get to it so if you can't click on something because something else is selecting like my tap button that's the zero opacity so you can tap on the screen what you do is you just zoom in a little bit and then click on that shape and you should be able to get it and then we'll call this one I guess we'll call this one tube two um, so as far as the color goes we go to tint change this and we put the other number in and it should be the same green okay so now what you'll do is let's get off of that zoom out a little bit what you'll do is your tubes come on tube all right back in we'll go on top of the other one like that okay so it's very simple we're just making it look like a tube like a, a mario tube or something like that um now our next thing okay if you zoom back out we need to add a ground and we need to add a sky, okay? Um, sorry, not like the sky of the picture, but like a ceiling in here. That way when he goes up, because as you can see when I play the game, uh, of course. <laughs> All right, hold on. It's hard to hit the play and get back to the touch screen right away. Why is that not playing? All right, right now he... Oh, he's actually hitting because we have him stay in frame. So actually, 
Yeah, we'll need him to collide with it later though. That's why we're putting it in there. So mm -hmm. another bordered rectangle. I'm going to take that and rotate that 90 degrees. The color of it does not matter because it's going to be off screen. So rotation 90. Size is going to be, let's start with like 10. Whoops. How about 1 by 10? Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that shape and you're just going to move that and put it right on top of the sky. So we're not going to see it in the scene, but it'll be something that we can collide with later. Okay. Uh, if you hit, let's, let's first of all call this sky um, or top, we'll call it. What you're going to do is click on that. You're going to do copy and you're going to drag down and you're going to put this one actually in the scene. And this one will be called ground. Okay. Now with ground, we're going to swap the visual and we're going to go up here and do under artwork. Let's see if we can type ground. I think I used green ground. Drag that over here. Uh, we will need to rotate it back, I guess. I shouldn't have rotated the other one uh, initially. Um, and that's why now these numbers are going to flip. It's going to be 10 and 1. And then we're just going to drag that somewhere in there. It's not long enough, so we're going to go a little bit longer. So let's make that 12. And that is good. Let's actually make this 2. I'm going to make it a little bit taller. And it should go right there inside the scene. So now when I hit play, you'll see the ground in there. He collides with the ground. That would be a game over. I'm going to start moving my tubes. That way it sits right on top of there. And then we're going to have tubes top and bottom going to the right. So we're going to set up like three or four of them. Okay. Um, so, oops, just move my tap button. And then I just messed that up. All right. Getting on here, moving this down. Let's actually give ourselves a little bit of space when the game starts. That way we don't have to immediately crash into a tube. Uh, your tubes we said are solid. Your ground, we want that to be a solid. We want, we did the size, we did rotation, we swapped. Um, let's see, hidden, no. Opacity, tint, doesn't matter. I think we're good there, okay. Um, and now let's move this little one over here into position. All right, so that's one, okay. Now, before I start copying all these pieces, if I copy it and I want to change something to it later, I want to be able to change it to one of them and then have it change to all of them automatically, okay. So when I click on this and I go to behavior and I add a bullet behavior, Click and hold, drag that across. Okay, let me check my notes for what size or speed that should be set at. Is there physics? No. All right, so I did it about a one speed. Um, you're going to turn it active off because later on when the game starts, we're going to say, okay, make these active. Okay, and then they'll start moving once we hit the button that says start game. All right, so let's back this down to about one. Somewhere in that range. Uh, whatever you put here, you have to make sure that that is on the top piece as well. Then when we start copying, they'll all have the right number. All right. And outside of that, I think we are good. So let's do the same thing on the top piece. Appearance. Behavior. Add behavior. Bullet. Oh, we got to change the flow direction also. It's going to start moving to the left. So we want 180 degrees. If you can get that 180, this is going to go down to 1.05 active off. So let's go back on here again. Behavior active off. Okay, so it actually just changed. Oh, sorry, the flow direction. Come on. Okay. Now go down to classes, create new class, tubes, save class. So when I select on this, and I go to classes, I can add that to the tubes class. And I'll do the same thing for the lower piece. Classes, tubes class, right? So now when I hit play on this game, they should have, they are, they're inactive right now. Okay, so let's go into our coding and we're gonna do our next event. Um, this first event should have been called bird movement. All right, whoops. You can squash that one. You can start a new one. Let's see what the second one I did was. Um, let's start doing the game over, I guess. We're going to start doing a couple of those. Although, hang on. When the game is over. Now, we want to do 
such as gravity, start game button. We want to do bullet movement set active, yes. So when the game starts, okay, so we're going to need a button first. So let's go back out. Let's create, whoops. Let's go to uh, behaviors, no, backgrounds, artwork, effects, behaviors, backgrounds. What am I missing here? Basic shapes. Oh, interface and text, sorry. Let's bring in a button. Okay, and that button is going to be a start game button. So you can click on that. Appearance. We can turn solid off. You can go into layer and put that on the UI layer. Um, you can tint it if you want. I'm not going to. And then you're going to call this start game. And the font size is fine. Everything else is good. All right. All right, so I'm going to leave that button there for right now, and now we can go in here and code. So we're going to say when the start button, I should really name that, by the way, because there's going to be a couple buttons. So let's go back on here for a second. Let's name that start button. All right, into the coding. When the start button senses um, touch down, okay, the tube class bullet movement set active yes all right so now there's other things to do right now the bird is still going to move which we don't want him to until we hit start game but when i hit start game here things start moving okay so the bird also has to be on there let's go back in here what we need is uh when you press the start button all the tubes move to the left and the bird's gravity, so we want to go to physics. Where's gravity? Set gravity, yes, and hit done, which means that we have to have gravity turned off on the bird first. So when you go into physics, you're going to turn off gravity. So now when I hit play, the bird should hover. When I hit start game, he should start having gravity on him. Okay, as you can see, those blocks like I was talking about. So now we should still get, once we hit start game, we should still be able to play the game, and that part is not working right now. So let's take a look at why. So at the start button, senses a touchdown. All the tubes move to the left. The bird gravity, yes. Um, senses a touchdown, senses touch held. The tap button bird physics so that should still work that's odd let's see what's going on with the tap button six by eight solids user interface um, user interface show opacity let's make sure it's in the right spot it is that's weird hmm all right, let's skip that for a second. Um, so go back to your tubes and let's copy them and let's bring them straight up. You could try to look at the grid. If you want, you can double click on the background to get the grid to come in. Bring that up to the top. Try to have it be right above the other one. Don't go too far into this piece. You really want to try to have it even like so. Grab this piece, make a copy, do the same thing. So now that we copied those, they should already have on them the behaviors that we added to the other ones, the speed, the flow direction, everything should already be set up, okay? So back into play again, start, they should all move together, okay? So now with that in mind, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take these and you're going to copy them and you're going to move them over, but you're going to want to start changing the sizes. So if we go into this one, maybe we can do a height of 0.5 which means that you would have to flippity flap your bird up. This piece will stay the same. As you can see, the copies just name them like tube two, C2 or whatever. It'll come up with its own name. Let's copy this one again. Oh, come on. Oh, I just messed that up. All right, copy, 
bring that one across. Now, this is a tight one. We could leave this one alone the way that it is and make that one a little bit easier. It's an open, big open window. Um, you could set it up the way that you want. There's no real right and wrong answer for that. There's also no wrong answer for the amount of space between them, okay? I think that what I have is a good amount of space. He can still go through this one and fall and hit the ground. That would be a game over. Um, he could also still hit the sky up there, and that would be a game over. So they seem like they are kind of lined up. I'm going to move this one over a little bit. Why am I not getting a click on anything else? There we go. All right, let's zoom in. Whoops. All right, we lost another piece. See, the software is very finicky in the fact that you can't really do multiple things in one step. What I'd really like to do is I'd like to select both of these, copy them both, rotate them, and flip them up here. But you can't do two things at once like that, so it's kind of annoying. Also, it is tough to click on this because that tap button, why don't we bring that out of the way for now? And why don't we change the opacity back? That way we know where it is. All right, we'll move that back when the time is right. Okay, so we got this set up the way that we want it. They already have their bullet movements on there. I go in to hit play on the game. Now that tap, oh, that's why there's some kind of movement on there. So good thing I turned that opacity up. Behavior. That should not have a bullet behavior on there. I don't know how that got on there. Um, it should stay the you know right where it is. So you can see now my tap area is actually in here. So that's why that wasn't working. So we solved that. Okay. Um, but now our tubes are not moving. So why is that? Is this accidentally in the tube class? Because we had it selected. That's why. Which means that these, now that I turned it off on that one, are not going to have it on here, which is super annoying. So I'm going to actually back up here a couple steps. And I'm going to see where that tap screen is. And I'm going to take that one. And let's see, what's the best way to do this? If we turn, we, we got to take it out of the class first. So out of the class. Then with it selected, go to behavior and take this bullet movement off. Now when I click on one of these, this should have a bullet on it still, and it should be fine. So when I go and hit play, come on, click off. Oh, being very finicky right now. Come on, there we go. Play. Play. Now you can see it's not a game over, and the boxes are going to move. Come on. All right, and that's pretty much the idea. All right, so um, let's end this video for now. You guys can set up the rest of your tubes. I'll set up the rest of mine, change the heights, move them around a little bit, make it challenging and not challenging, and put as many as you want. The more you have, the harder the game becomes. So if you did 10 of them, you know, it's very unlikely that almost anybody would get through them, but, you know, you can set up as many as you want. Uh, we'll have to set up collisions for after getting through the tubes. So let me reset this. There will be, you know what, let me bring another screen over. There will be a line, as you can see, there's a line right here that I have the opacity turned down on, and that line you shouldn't be able to see. So when you pass through here and you hit that line, the collision says, okay, that's one point, and then you start scoring up. All right, and we have one of those behind each one of these. There's one here, there's one there, there's one there, okay? All right, so that's it for this one. I appreciate you guys watching, and please follow into number three. All right, thanks. Catch your mouth.